In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do this viral time-lapse effect. Yo people, Tony here. So today, I'm going to go through with you step by step of how you can do this time-lapse effect on your own, at your own uh, uh, spare time. And so yesterday, I managed to finally just went out of my way just to go near near my neighborhood and just film this time lapse just for just like you know just mount it for 30 minutes and just and this is the result okay let me just uh, let's go into Premiere Pro right now all right so right now we're in Premiere Pro if I'm being honest this took quite a time for me just to like absorb what's like the most efficient way for me to teach you guys and what's the right steps to take uh, so I already gave it a try a few tries already on how to edit this and in conclusion i think the following steps that you're about to follow will be the most like simple way to do this uh effect so let, let's just start right into it uh once you have the video on onto uh, premiere pro uh you go find the, the point where you do the c so yeah uh, it's quite early on in the video i recommend you just delete the whole uh, audio uh, part just to work with it in a more clean manner uh, so when you hit the C when I hit the C right it's the part where I had to find it right there alright afterwards you create the cut alright so we're gonna first deal with the front part then the back part which is the time lapse alright so I wanna move this to the side a bit and let me just drag this up Right. Once you hit the, the the point, once you find the point where you hit the C, sorry, it's just something I'm very used to say just because I am a football fan and uh, when I always do this celebration, so it's just a fun way just to, uh, you know, just to say it, alright. So okay. once you hit the C, right, right there, right. Today is going to be quite a tutorial because you also will be learning how to do time remapping okay i'll just start from the part where i come in so i'll just get rid of this part the front part and just use the part where i come in so the part where i come in to the part where i hit the suit all right will be quite fast so i'm just gonna uh, right click right here right click to go time remapping speed all right let me just scale this up show you guys and from the start all the way to the point where i hit the C right there i want it to be fast so let me just think so let me just increase it up so when you're doing the time remembering right there you increase it up like that like around 200 percent should be fine so this is the part where okay when i hit the C, right there right it's where i want to slow mo it so uh yeah just drag this in so when i want to hit c is where i want to slow mo it so this is the part that i kind of want to slow mo right there so let me just slow mo right there 50, uh, create another another keyframe create another keyframe and you use it out just to ease in, ease out. Honestly, you don't need to start, so let me just delete it. So, everything else is 50% already. So, just increase it up. So it should be like that. Okay, once you do deal with the time remapping, time remapping, alright, where it's slow mo, you create a duplicate, uh, duplicate, <laughs> duplicate layer. I'm sorry. You drag it down, option, you hold option on on your key and just drag it down and you can create a duplicate layer. Just like that. Alright, this is so that you can, when you create the mask, there's still that background layer still available. So I'll create the mask right there, right? So you click the, you select the above layer, go effect control, go pen tool, go 25%, like that. And create the sorry am I going too fast okay uh, so what I just did was I selected the top top layer 
uh, select the pen tool under opacity right and after that I just create a I will just be creating a mask just like that try not to hit me just like that all right and uh, the bottom layer shouldn't have a mask you know I mean? uh, the bottom layer you can just trim it right there where I, where I hit the C, you don't need the, the rest, you just trim it right there uh, because this is the the bottom layer will be the part where uh, oh yeah, once you create the mask, right, just invert it right. because uh, this is the layer where the time lapse will be Right, right there. So, so, so the timelines will hit there. Alright, now once you create that uh the mask right there. Alright. I think the mask can just increase it the feather by 30%. I think it should be fine. Let's see. Yep, yeah, should be fine. Alright, now it's time to create the the time lapse right here. Yeah, let me just get rid of all that. So let me just go to the this layer. Now it's just a time lapse right here. So what you do is you right click, you can just go speed duration. Then this will get crazy. The speed will really get crazy. You just click. Okay, you try to click ten thousand, but you can't just because of this uh match link thing. So you just get rid of it. Click ten thousand. And once you get that, you, you see that you can press OK, then you match link again. Then after that, you will get the 17 second clip. You just click OK. Then this clip will become 17 second. Then you're not done yet with the speed. Remember time remapping? So the next thing you do is you click, when we right click it, go time remapping speed. Then you drag this all the way. Sorry, let me just increase it. Guys. All the way up, maybe until around uh, three hundred percent. No, you're kidding. It's super fast, just like that. So you should get a clip. Oh yeah, let me just run. Uh, see it? Get a clip just like that. There. Do you see? Do you see that? So let me just full screen it. There. Right, so I'm so hit it here, but you get the, the idea. Shit. Like if, if you see like the mask is like hurting your fat, I think what you can do is you just readjust the mask. You just create a keyframe right here so that I can just as I'm coming in. Okay. I'm coming in the mask will be sorry. The mask won't affect me. Yes, you will the mask won't affect me. Don't affect me all the way until sorry. Bam. Okay, cool. So this is how the effect should look like. Bam. Let's see. Yep. Bam. Look at that. It's cool, right? Isn't that? Yeah, that. And then you just put in audio. You can throw in like a adjustment there, something like that. Let's really bring out the colors. I mean, the whole thing. It, it depends on you what you want. If you want to make it whole thing blue or or more orangey. Alright, so yes. Bam. Right. Let's see the full clip. Let me adjust it. Bam. Look at that. That's cool. That's freaking cool. Alright. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys learned something new and I had fun creating uh this time lapse effect. I also learned something new. If I'm being honest, at first I was like a bit uh, questioning myself how I should go about this. 
Then after I test it two to three times, I realized, okay, I found the most efficient way, uh, efficient steps to go about this and to show you guys the same way that, the same approach that I went about to doing this effect. And I guess it works. Anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. I like videos, making videos like this just because it brings me into learning things that I haven't tried before. And I love that I get to be I, you guys get to be part of this journey as well because as much as I am the one teaching this type of video makes me go out my way to try out new new effects and just make my editing spring up another level and yeah I couldn't be more grateful for that anyway those who are watching this uh, video thank you thank you so much for watching this type of tutorial honestly it takes a great deal of effort just to come up with this type of tutorial and I'm just grateful that people are actually watching my tutorials uh, anyway I, enough said i just want to say uh yeah please subscribe if you haven't give this a video a like if you learn something new share if you with a friend if you a uh, friend wants to learn and yeah i will see you guys in the next video bye bye take care